Hi, how are y'all? Good, how are you? Very good, thank you. How much your Kate Spade purses are? Uh, I am. <laughs> hey, Ashley, how much do you want for these Kate Spade purses? Are you actually? The Kate Spade purse? Yes. Um, eight. Eight, okay, uh, that one and this one as well? Uh, five for the little one, eight for the big one. Okay, thank you so much. There were some of the classic Ugg boots over there in the corner and I didn't actually ask the price on these because I have been swearing off of this particular style of Ugg. They just sit for me for a long time and they don't sell that well, at least not like they used to. So I was behaving myself at this yard sale and I did leave these ones behind. But let me know down in the comments if you would have tried to pick them up. Is <laughs> where can I pop it? That is yeah, okay. Um, while I keep, box, I have a big is box. that okay? While I keep looking, thank you. Thank you so How much. You? <laughs> good this morning. I appreciate it. I need it for a little bit. Oh, I'll take my car up. So. Oh, 
general rule, I don't really pick up more brand clothing to resell. However, there were quite a few pieces priced around $2 on this rack that were new with tags and were um, the same size with multiple colors of that particular style. So I did decide to scoop some of those items up so I could lot them up and flip them that way. The dog that no one wants attacking. How much are the clothes? Uh, the girls, how much are your clothes? She's asking different, so different stuff. Dresses? Okay. And then, yeah, I'd like $3. Okay, thank you. What about like sweaters and things like that? Uh, sweaters? I don't know, we haven't been doing that. Sweaters? $2. $2. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I usually don't dabble in formal dresses either unless they're like super vintage. These definitely caught my eye because they were really heavily bedazzled. I didn't sort of know any of the brands. And then she was asking 15 a piece, which I'm sure was an absolute steal. But I ended up passing on these mostly because I was unfamiliar, but also because I didn't really have the storage space for them at this time. Again, let me know down below if you think I goofed up. Can I double, did you say the dresses were three? Those no. are not. Okay, I was gonna say, yeah. How much are these ones? Um, white. Okay. Sure, thank you. Just like I mentioned with the mall brands that were on the hanging rack earlier, I also like to lot up things like American Eagle jeans when there's multiple pieces that are the same size and similar styles and I can get them for really cheap like these for $2 a piece and they were all a size 6 so I grabbed a whole bunch of these. If you'll have a okay. second, okay. thank you. <laughs> Do you want to pile everything back in the box or? If that's okay, and I'll just kind of drag it across the road. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Where, like, why do I own all these? <laughs> it's very obnoxious. <laughs> oh, it's funny. And we, if you want to double check it, but when we added it, it was 80. Okay, that's fine by me if that's okay by you. Yes. Thank you. Absolutely. That's a ton. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> Hi, how are y'all? Good. How much are 
you, I'm so sorry, how much are your vans? Um, gosh, uh, <laughs> it just brought those out. Um, I'd say, I don't know, the brand name requires. Okay. How much are they normally? I've got no idea. I'm honestly not sure. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know, 10? Okay. I think they're like 40 and 50. Gotcha. All right, well, thank you. I found a purse. <laughs> All right. Thank you ever so much. Thank you. Have a nice day. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Wonderful. How are you all? You are hot, you know. You're just standing here in front of the fan a little while. Wow. Have you been very busy? Sort of. Just sitting on that steady screen. Yeah. That's a dollar. Okay, thank you. You. I'm, I'm going to give you two dollars for those and I'll keep having a little look around. Thank you very much. Did you get a No, I didn't. Was it supposed to go with it, was it? Thank you very much. That's very nice of you. <laughs> Alright you guys, welcome to the whole portion of the video where I show you exactly what I picked up at today's yard sale. So, uh, most of this is from one yard sale, one main one, but then there's a couple of uh, little bits floating around that came from just like two different ones. I only picked up a small amount. So I'll start with those. Um, first off is this. I am going to sell this based on style alone. This screams 90s to me. I had very, very similar like little shoulder bags that looked like uh, little top handle bags. That was just kind of the style back then. Um, looks like this was initially for a phone. So many more towards like early 2000s. Either way, definitely has a super cool retro look. It is a leather bag. I paid $2 for this and there's no branding or anything. But like I said, I'm going to sell this based purely on style, hopefully for around 20 And the other kind of one-off item is this. Actually, truth be told, I kind of felt compelled to buy something at this yard sale. They, they kept sort of saying how they were packing up and they were wanting to get rid of stuff, would do amazing deals, all this kind of stuff. Um, and so I didn't really want to leave empty-handed. Anyone else ever do that at yard sales or is that just me? Um, so I didn't really need the cookbook. I'll probably just donate that. But these two items I'll probably sell together. I'll look them up and they're both, they're not tough where they are Nordic where it says right there and actually there is a little bit of a market for this so this is the eggs and muffin pan eggs and muffin pan and then this one here is this is all microwave as well it is Nordic where again it sort of says up here two quart casserole dish with lid and um, I'll try and put some comps up here I think that there's some value in these like I said I've sold the brand before I'm not too sure about these exact pieces but if they're worth selling I'll pop them up all right and Everything else here is from one yard sale and I paid $80 total, which does sound like a lot, but it shouldn't be too hard to make my money back. And there's actually one item missing from here I'll mention right up front. Um, it was a Disney snow globe. It was uh, celebrating Walt's 100th birthday, I think. I'm not sure exactly what it was, but it was a Disney one. It was in its original packaging. It wasn't super old. It was a Hallmark snow globe. And I paid $4 for it. And that was actually something for my oldest son who collects snow globes. So that's gone to him, but you would have seen it in the video. All right, let's get started. Up front here, real quick, I have one, two, three, four, five, six pairs of American Eagle jeans. They're all similar styles where they are like skinny, super stretch, high rise, jeggings or J 
jeans, whatever, all American Eagle, like I said, same size. I pay $2 a piece, so $12 total into this, and I will attempt to sell this lot here for around $60 or so. All right, next we have one pair of shoes from there. These are the classic Clark's Wallabies, you can see in here wallaby um there is a couple of very very small marks i am used to seeing them on clark's wallabies at this point the main thing that i do test is the soles they have crepe soles and if they haven't been taken care of properly or stored properly they actually get kind of like sticky to the touch which is super gross and you you just can't sell them in that condition these ones are absolutely fine and i actually am not too sure what i paid for these individually there's definitely a few items here that i'm not sure what i paid it just got bundled in and like i said 80 dollars for everything so but these usually sell around 25 to 35 for me next is one game and it's actually complete inside with all the inserts and obviously the game itself as well and actually the comps looked really promising for this i'll put them up on the screen as well um i just went ahead and scanned the barcode with my ebay app and looked at some souls and it was good enough for me to want to grab this and next we have some almost vintage toys new in the pack uh, you can see a lot of the prices here that i paid so i've got four dollars on this one little brats Remember when Bratz was a thing? Oh my days. Um, little motorbike. So this is obviously brand new in the pack still. It's actually from 2003. You can see that down there. Um, so it's technically not vintage, but my goodness, we are getting so close, aren't we? Um, and I scanned the barcode on this as well. It looks like this one here is going for around 30 to 35. This one is a little bit of an unknown. This is a huge uh, Yasmin doll and it's a collector's edition 2003. You can see in there has also like little certificate and stuff like that obviously still new in the pack um i paid ten dollars for this and this is me taking a chance on it there was one other like new in the pack one that had sold recently just one and it was sold for i think 49.99 plus the shipping and the shipping was pretty hefty because this is going to be really kind of tall and bulky to ship and i don't think there were any others listed like brand new right now so again brats is something especially like early 2000s that can be collectible i'm not sure about this size of doll but i decided to take a chance on it you never know come close to christmas she might do really well one other little collectible piece from 2003 right here this is a barbie of swan lake genuine porcelain anniversary clock and um, it is brand new in the package and i paid four dollars for this clock and um, the comps were almost non-existent for it there was one that had sold on auction i think for 14.99 so it really is a bit of a risk but i'm going to do this one as a buy it now considering i don't think there's any listed again right now with it being new in the box 2003 and uh we're going to see what the heck happens <laughs> two purses both kate spade and i have already gone through all my authentication process and double checked with authenticators as well that i know on a facebook group i paid five dollars for this one here and it has every single tag that it is supposed to plus when you look at the style number which by the way on kate spade purses is this top one here we're starting with some letters um it brings up this exact model and color so this one is authentic it looks fantastic and um, this one is from the exact same person i paid five dollars for this eight dollars for this one um and this one looks to be fantastic as well so i'm thinking that why would they have one that was real and one that was fake and charge me more for the fake one that doesn't really make sense um we have all the details like on all the little rivets and stuff like that going all around the side lots and lots of detail here stitching is beautiful spacing and things like that looks to be beautiful as well wonderful quality with the zipper and um, it also has the uh tag inside as well again sewn into the lining not onto the lining unfortunately I don't see any tags behind it and that has me confused so if you have any insight please let me know down below in the comments um i really don't think that this is a fake i really don't but without those other two little tags the black one and the one with the style number on it i'm kind of between a rock and a hard place so anyway let me know down in the comments what you think all right and then we have some clothing pieces this one on top i actually bought for myself but then didn't like the fit so i'm gonna attempt to flip it um it is just a kimchi blue and it's a denim romper where it's kind of like open in the back and tied size 10 like a chambray denim almost um i don't think this will go for very much maybe like 12 to 15 but i might as well try and flip it since i didn't like it oh and if you didn't know kimchi blue is sold at urban outfitters then we have one pair of lululemon long black uh leggings i've got no idea what the style is or what the size is because the tag has been cut out thank you very much so i'll give them a good lint roll i'll do some measuring we'll see what we can do with those 
one piece of um size extra large simply because it is heavily embroidered like floral and it's like a long sleeve tunic dress perfect for fall so believe it or not my fall inventory is starting to get listed uh, even though we're only just edging into july i'm getting up i'm getting it ready and this is gonna be one of those items we have a size extra large eileen fisher navy blue t-shirt dress kind of like a short one and then we have two brand new with the tags um, airy rompers both size large and they're kind of like cut open at the front as well with all this cool like sort of eyelet detail i will be lotting those up together and i think again the clothes were like between two to three dollars and then we have just a couple of sweaters this one here is an orvis sweater i do much better with the orvis men's items than i ever have with orvis women's um, and it is a size extra large and it's just a really really beautiful chunky knit um sweater and then it's all like sort of fleece lined inside one women's North Face um, hooded sort of sweater slash light jacket. Really, really nice condition, sort of space dye. And then the last one is another extra large MG piece. Um, and it's sort of this, I don't know, like almost like a mauve kind of color. And then it's very, very chunky, very, very oversized. And it's got this really cool kind of uh, tie detail going down the sleeve as well. Whew. All right. And that is everything from this yard sale. This is actually my first one of the day. And when you know, I almost filled up my car immediately. Isn't that just the way it goes? All right. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It tells me on YouTube that you like this kind of content. And of course, if you want to come back and hang out some more and take on some more yard sales with me looking for fun things to flip online for a profit, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so you never miss a video. All right, you guys, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.